Hi guys, hi guys. Today I'm gonna show you how to create Chrome extension using React and Wit. So uh, I'll just go ahead and get started. So here is the widjs.dev website where we can find how to get started. So we click button get started and let's see so here is here are the instructions how to do that npm create with latest we use we use just npm um, so I think that's many people use that so we just copy that and we go to and go and create a, a new project how do we do that we just go to the folder we want to have the project to be created and let's let's paste this command in here and let's see what happens so it asks for the project name let's uh, chrome extension test now we want to choose from here which framework or library we want to use and we choose react now we sh can use typescript typescript plus swc i'm not sure what is that like I already I already googled it but actually so um, it's kind of a new transpiler or transpiler for uh, okay never mind I'll just use TypeScript regular transpiler and the project is installed let's go and open that library um, mm -hmm. okay let's open it let's terminate terminate all the the current processes which I have and now we have the react with installed let's let's actually install the packages because it should actually say what should we do next after we create latest okay here it is go to your project and now we should run npm install and then npm npm run there it just to run the regular the regular um, server <clears throat> but for chrome extension we are gonna use something else so here it is npm packages have been successfully installed and now we can run this command this command is actually uh, located in here so you can run it from package json itself if you have a uh, jetbrains webstorm i think it should be similar with we uh, code so now if you open that it should it should show you yeah the default page which is functional as you can see but how to make it work as a Chrome extension that's the question um, so I plan to make this as a Chrome extension to be opened on the left as a uh, side panel like here inside of here it's possible to open extensions if they support that uh, so let's do that 
least we are running this and uh, actually to make the Chrome extension we just need to add one file I believe at least one file called manifest JSON so um, let's let's do that but I'll go ahead and ask ChatGPT to provide me a, uh, a basic manifest manifest JSON example so I don't search for for that provide a manifest JSON to create a Chrome extension yep okay so as you can see that is manifest version number three that's the latest one I believe and uh, let's use it we can actually copy the code here and we can go and create it inside of our I believe inside not SRC but in the end result we would need that manifest to be included into the dist folder so let's see um, pop-up we don't need pop-up at least I don't need the pop-up uh, but that's an action the action which is a what is gonna happen when you click uh, the the extension button default icon we don't have that and we will change that to the sidebar uh, HTML file now background do we really have a background uh, we don't have a background JavaScript because we don't have anything to run at least for my needs permission storage okay uh, what should we do next mm, we actually should make a build of the application the whole application let's see okay uh, and I believe that everything we put in here into public folder it should also be inside of build folder let's try to build it again and let's see okay manifest exists now and the only thing we need to do right now is to connect our manifest with the sidebar script in here we don't run content scripts too I just need a sidebar icons we don't have any icons for now okay so default pop-up index no it's not a pop-up um, let's Google for um, Google Chrome side panel API let's see okay so permissions we need to add permissions uh, permissions not storage but side panel we delete it in here permissions we are okay and to okay so we need to set the correct file to be opened as a side panel so that's how we do that we write side panel default path and in our case it's not some side panel HTML it should be index HTML right okay now it's done and we need to trigger 
Okay, we'll do that later. Um, background. Can we do without background? Can I have manifest JSON without background script? Question mark. Certainly, you can create manifest without. Okay, that's great. I like it. And now let's build it again and let's try to run this extension and see is miracle happens is it gonna run from the first time so let's go in here and uh, extensions manage extensions load and packed so let's see where did we Where do we locate it? Uh, I will copy path reference like here and let's load unpacked. Let's paste it to go directly there. Let's use this folder and we are ready to choose the folder. It doesn't give any errors, that's good. And once we uploaded the extension, we should actually see it. In, in the list and if we hit that okay you can see that it's up and running it's working functional so uh, we are ready to continue how do we continue I would add action I would add action I mean I want that extension to be opened when I hit this icon. So how do we do that? There is um, there is something called action, default pop-up. I'm not sure is default pop-up. Let's see, action, default title. Uh -huh. On action, click, okay, let's see. So uh, let's try this default pop-up HTML. Hmm. Mm, I actually forgot how to do that. How to open side panel on icon click. Okay, so we have side panel in here. Okay, the, the, the information is a bit outdated because... Let's see, so the default pop-up. I actually have that in another extension. Let me try to remember so staff spin I have that that's another project I worked on it's built on top of angular but let's find manifest JSON and okay default title click to open panel but this it's not gonna open it by itself anyways lay, let's uh, let's see I think what can open the default panel panel is um, background page so uh, background let's see where where do we have background okay background JS and Hmm, that's weird. Okay, let me try to build it again. And let's see whether this uh, works. We'll need to refresh. And let's see. No, it doesn't work. 
Hmm. Uh, okay, let's see the docs because I, I totally forgot how to open the side panel. Okay, you can open the side panel through user interactions using side panel open and set panel behavior such as action click. Okay, so I think we need to use this one and see in my old project. Okay, yeah, we can see that we set this setting and I believe we should also have our... Um, background JS oh not JSON JS and let's add that mm, worker service worker All right something like that we'll need to build it again let's try to refresh it and let's try to open. Oh, there are errors. Unrecognized service worker. Okay, let's see um, how it looks. Is it background? All right, <laughs> that's funny. <clears throat> let's refresh it again and let's try to click okay it works and when we hit again it closes that's what I I need and it's working great 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 that's actually it guys I hope that you find this I don't know instruction or video useful Leave me a comments to this video so I know your opinion. Thank you. Bye.